guys, it's just up from craftinandstamping.blogspot.com and today I wanted to show you how to upload an image. More specifically, I want to show you how to upload files from and awesome files over at SVG Funny Files. Um, lots of files a lot there. I am super excited that I get a chance to play with the Cricut Design Space. I'm so impressed with the ease of it, how user friendly it is, and the fact that it was actually up and running on the day they said it would be. I am very disappointed in the fact that I do not have my machine yet. I have my tools. I don't have the machine because of a gigantic mess that they just ended. However, I'm not going to let that stop me from making this awesome video. So for those of you who are Cameo users or those of you who are Cricut users that weren't sure about uploading SVGs and they lo you love Ants files, I'm going to show you how to do it. It's super easy. So you're going to log yourself into your design space. And over here, you're going to have just a few little... Um, prompts, okay? So you want to go to the upload image, okay? When you get to upload image, you have either basic upload or vector upload. I want to do vector upload. What I'm going to do from here is I'm going to go to browse. Once I get into browse, I'm going to go to where I have my SVG files saved, and I specifically have a folder for Anne's SVG cutting files. So for today, I'm going to um, pull in the treat cup option. Oh, no, no, no. I want to pull in the, yeah, I'm going to do the treat cup option pieces because I already pulled in my winged fart lollipops. Um, or better yet, let's do something better. Let's import, hmm, well, my kiddo loves the Jetsons, so let's import the Jetsons. Let's actually import the Jetsons. Where are they? Uh, Jetson ship, okay? So let's pull that in. We're going to hit open. Really? Yeah, and look, there is our ship. How cool is it? There's the preview, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to come right here. It says Jetson Ship is the name, and I'm going to do some text. So I'm going to do SVG cutting files. That way I can always pull up by that. I'm going to do Jetsons. Hi, audience. <laughs> Brandon says hi. I'm going to do cartoon. And I'm going to do... Barbera. Oh, okay. Okay, I'll do Hanna-Barbera, since much can just fill me in on that. Um, I'm going to do spaceship, spaceship, because sometimes I don't know how it'll spell. Then I'm going to hit save image, and I'm hoping you can see this at the bottom of my screen. So it's saving my image, and down here you can see that I've already pulled in a few files, okay? I've already pulled in, um, I believe it was the explosive scientist file. This is the winged heart lollipops file. Here's my Jetson ship. So all I want to do is, you see how this is grayed out with a little check mark? Let's click on it. Look at that. It turns green, and you see it down here. Now you're going to hit Insert Images. Once you insert the image, here's where you can play with it. So you can pull it out. You can make it smaller. You can do anything you want to do. Over here, it's showing you the different layers. Now, here's the cool thing. This is amazing. Anne always color coordinates her files, which I love. The best part is I can sync this by colors. So you see these, okay, it looks like I have all these layers, but let's see when we hit, oops, let's see what, we, what happens when we hit color sync. It synced it into four layers for me, which is awesome. Even though there's five pieces here, we have four layers. It already separated them from color. Now let's just say I said, you know what, eh, I want these to all be the same color because I don't have all that paper. Not a problem. Move it up. Hold on, I'm still learning this. I've been learning first. Oh, hold on. Go in and ungroup them. There we go. Sorry, if you, this was all grouped. My mistake, I forgot that. Let me just show you what I did. Okay, so here's the image. You're able to pull it all together, okay? If you hit the right click and you hit ungroup, you will have all individual pieces. Now come back over to the sink, okay? And you will see that you have the three images, okay? Now, it already changed the color for me, which is great. I think it did what I was trying to do. Um, but because I had it grouped, or maybe I didn't let it wait long enough. So now I have exactly three layers. That's awesome. Now I want to show you something else. We're going to get out of this, okay? We're going to get out of this. I'm just going to delete this, okay? I want to go to another image, okay? So I want to insert another image. Oops. Let's go to upload image again. I've already pulled this in, so I want to play with this. I want to show you something that's awesome about Ant's files. 
Now, you know, sometimes things aren't to scale when you get them. You're like, oh, no, how big is this supposed to be? I don't want to ungroup everything and try and size it all by itself. No problem. You see this black circle right here? Okay. That's Anne's um, registration circle, if you will. What you need to do is pull in a circle from the um, from your images, okay? And you want to make a circle one inch. So here is the easiest way to do it. If you don't own any other files, this is strictly your only file. You want to right click, you want to ungroup. You want to take this item, right click on it. Oops, hold on, wait, can do hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, okay, come down here to where it says duplicate, okay? So we have this. Now pull one of these away, come back, hold your mouse over, you're going to left, hold the left mouse key down, and then you want to right click on this and hit group again. So this way it's all one image. Now come back over to this one. What you want to do is hit the edit button, and you want to make this be one inch. Anne has said in her files that you need to have items one inch to be able to print or to cut correctly and to cut to scale. Okay? So what I want to do is now we're actually going to change the color of this because um, let's make that yellow. So that way we can see it. Okay? Because obviously if I load a black one over a top of another black one, we're not going to be able to see it. So now let's Right click on oops, right click on our yellow and hit move to front. That way it comes in front of my black image. So that way I know when it's sized correctly because I can see. So come back in, grab your group, move it in. Okay. Now we want to move this over and I can tell that it's still slightly off. Okay. So I'm just going to move it in a touch more. And that looks to be about one inch for me. Look, I don't see anything. It's all my yellow piece. So now what we want to do is we want to delete this out. We're going to come back, grab our group, right-click, and ungroup. Grab this circle, delete it. You don't need it anymore. And now do you see how it's deleted from your layers? I'm going to show you something else awesome. Okay. You see this yellow line and this yellow line? That's actually the score lines. So you see this little cutting tool? Click on it. Once you click on it, go over to score. Guess what? The machine's going to score it for you without any color. We don't need color. So now let's come over and do the second score line. Hit score, no color, done. Now watch what happens when I go to color sync. You see all these? Watch this. It gives me four layers. And you can even change your two reds to be the same. I myself am not going to do that, but you can. You can change your pink. You can do whatever you need to do. How cool is that? Isn't this awesome? I am so excited. I cannot wait to get my machine to start cutting away. Um, I wish I could go further, but I don't have a machine to go to. Um, I'm sure if I was actually linked up, it would allow me to, um, but unfortunately, it's, it's not going to let me cut. Um, so, oh, well, let's see. We'll hit go and let's see what happens. Oh my gosh, it is! Yay! You're learning with me! It's giving me, it's creating my mats, I believe. And look at that. And it made my mats, it pulled it in, and I can see all of the mats, the different colors that it wants to cut. This is absolutely amazing. How easy is this going to be for those of us that use Anne's files to um, make multiples of? We can see exactly what it's going to be. We know exactly how many mats. I am so excited. I can't even see straight. So darn excited. Um, and look, this is my scoring net to score. Oh, my God. This is so awesome. Um, yay. Okay. So this is what you do. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope this helps you. I hope it didn't ramble too much. But thank you so much for watching. I will have links to Ann's store and my blog down below. So, um, like I said, thanks so much for watching. I hope to catch you for the next Bye!